Hello friends, here I am going to present here about 75 plus multiple choice question which are based on the COPO talent. If you are working in any educational institute or you have just worked, definitely sometime you have heard about COPO talent. So in this particular video, I am going to discuss in about 80 MCQ based question after going through all the questions, definitely your theoretical part will be clear. Means you will be more un understandable about the COPO attainment. So this question covers various aspects of how COs and POs are assessed, tracked and utilized within the educational program, particularly in technical and engineering education context because definitely if you are talking about COPO attainment so mostly uh, it is applicable for all type of program but majorly it's cover engineering and technical program like MBA, BBA, BTEC and also we can implement in science program, humanities program, every program we can implement COPO attainment. So in this video my main focus to cover all the theoretical aspect regarding the COPO attainment. So near about 80 question where I am going to discuss it. So first is what is primary purpose of assessing course of outcome and one thing uh, before starting this video just uh, let you know ki here I will main focus on the correct option not all option I am going to read only I will read question and then the correct answer. So what is primary purpose of assessing course outcome? So primary uh, purpose of assessing course outcome is to determine course effectiveness in the meeting educational objective. Whatever, you know, when a uh, committee design a syllabus, during the designing the syllabus, we also design the program outcome as well as course outcome. So basically to designing course outcome, the main aim to determine the course effectiveness how are program outcome different from the course outcome so there are two things one is course outcome one is program outcome so course outcome is just related to subject program outcome just related to whole program means you know there is a physics subject in engineering so where you can determine the course outcome of physics but program outcome means we are talking about BTA. Okay. So here you can see PO focus on the overall skill and knowledge students should gain by the end of program while CO focus on the what students should achieve in each course. The B option is correct option. Now what is one common method for measuring the CO attainment? Definitely. Assess, assessment of my assignment and exam by doing this we can measure the CO attainment which of the following best describe the relationship between CO and PO so CO contribute to the attainment of PO because koi bhi program CO mila ke hi banta hai Agar if you are talking about program attainment means firstly you have to decide you have to gain the CO CO means course outcome, PO means program outcome. How can the attainment of PO be evaluated? So there are various methods to evaluate the PO. But if you are talking about in this option, so option A is correct by analyzing student performance in relation to program specific goals. What is an assessment rubric? So basically, a assessment rubric is a tool for getting that provide detailed criteria for evaluating a student work. Why it is important to align CO with PO? So uh, basically uh, the best purpose to aligning CO with PO is to make sure that the program's educational goal are made through the specific course outcome. Which tool is commonly used to track CO and PO attainment over time? So they keep, uh, there are various tools. If you are not running any ERP, not learning management system, 
so by using excel also you can track co and po attainment but if you are using any erp and any tool so by definitely using that tool also you can track so in this option first option is correct option that is learning management system what is role of feedback in the process of assessing co and po attainment you know, definitely by feedback we can improve okay by feedback we can focus on where we are lagging that's why feedback is a very important process of assessing co and po attainment so here we can see b option to improve teaching method and course content based on the assessment result whatever feedback we are getting according to this we can change our way of teaching also we can change our course content there are various thing we can change which of the following in example of direct assessment so uh, there are two type of assessment one is direct assessment and second is indirect assessment direct assessment that cover the your examination assignment presentation this type of activity comes under the direct assessment when we are talking about uh, a student survey uh, alumni feedback so these are comes under indirect assessment what is an example of indirect assessment for measuring po so here you can see a uh, survey of employee satis employer satisfaction this comes under ind uh, indirect uh, assessment now how often should co and po assessment typically be reviewed and updated so this can be done biannually or annually okay what is purpose of mapping matrix in co and po assessment so basically the main purpose of matri mapping matrix is to visualize how individual cos contribute to pos by using this type of matrix we can see how can the result of co and po assessment be useful for program improvement so by result of co and po we can identify the area where the program meets or fail to meet educational goal and making necessary adjustment so according to this result we can see ki we are we are failing or we are we are meeting our desired goal so which of the following is a not typically used to measure the attainment of cos so here is just yes, uh, group project also uh, we use for co attainment mid term examination we are use lab report only faculty self assessment we don't cover in co assessment attainment what is common challenge in assessing co and po attainment so basically uh, the main challenge is ensuring alignment between course and program objective because student feedback that is not challenge scheduling the examination that is not challenge design the course syllabi that is also not challenge challenge is ensuring alignment between course and program objective what does continuous improvement refer to the concept of co and po assessment so continuous improvement basically refer to regularly updating and refining the curriculum and teaching method based on the assessment result so whatever assessment result we get according to that result we can regular uh, we can update and refine the curriculum what is common method for assessing po attainment so for po attainment uh, generally we conduct the exit survey with the graduate student because po attainment generally calculated after completion of program how does the use of rubrics help in assessment of co so basically uh, the rubric help by providing clear and consistent criteria for evaluating student work what is purpose of conducting a gap analysis in co and po assessment okay to so basically gap analysis generally we do to identify the discrepancies between desired outcome and actual outcome suppose our actual attainment is 2.5 and we are getting only 2.2 so bet this uh, today's gap 
if we can see that there is a gap between our actual attainment and desired outcome. So basically, to identify this type of discrepancies, uh, discrepancies, we conduct gap analysis. Which approaches uh, approaches effective? For ensuring that you are being effectively taught and assessed, so regularly reviewing and revising CEO based on the student performance and feedback, this is very effective approach. How can program coordinator use CEO and PO assessment result to enhance student learning? So, uh, program coordinator can uh, student. Uh, can enhance the student learning by adjusting curriculum, teaching method, and support services based on the assessment finding. Whatever assessment result uh, program coordinator get, according to that, the program coordinator can adjust the curriculum, teaching method, and support services. Which of the following method is typically used for direct assessment of peers? So. Direct assessment. Here we are talking about direct assessment. Means we are talking about examination. So general survey that is not come under the direct assessment. Faculty self report. This is also not correct. Student attendance. This is also not correct because there is no such role of a student uh, student attendance record in case of uh, PO. So uh, here correct option is question project. What is role of stakeholder in the CEO and PO assessment process? So basically, the main role of stakeholder to provide feedback on the relevance and effectiveness of the program outcome. How can technology assist in the assessment of CEO and PO? So by uh, definitely by providing tools for data collection, analysis, and reporting. Which document typically outlines the specific learning outcome for a course? So definitely here. Course syllabus. What is purpose of conducting a program review in relation to C1 PO attainment? So, uh, the main purpose of conducting a program review to evaluate the effectiveness of the entire program in achieving its goal and making improvement. How can faculty members contribute to the effective assessment of CEO and PO? So, by aligning their teaching method and assessment with the stabilized CEO and PO. What does the term assessment matrix refer to the concept of CEO and PO assessment? So basically that is a tool that link a specific assessment to CEOs and POs to ensure comprehensive coverage. How can feedback from CEO and PO assessment be effectively utilized? So by integrating the feedback into curriculum design and teaching strategy to address identified issues. Which of the following best describe a course outcome? So basically here talking about course outcome. Course outcome means what we are good getting after completing that particular course. Means here I am talking about chemistry, physics, biology and something like this. So basically uh, course outcome means to get a specific skill and knowledge a student are expected to acquire by the end of a course. What is a program outcome? Means program outcome means what we are getting after completance, uh, completion of that particular program. So a broad statement that describes what graduates are expected to achieve by the end of the program. How can CO attainment be measured? So basically CO attainment uh, be measured on the basis of through the student performance on the assignment, exams and project. Which tool is commonly used to track PO attainment? So here we use program assessment rubrics. What is the primary purpose of assessing CO and PO? So basically to improve and to ensure that the educational objective align with the student learning outcome. <coughs> Which of the following best define a direct assessment uh, method for CO? So we have already discussed there are two types of assessment. One is indirect and uh, second is direct. direct assessment generally cover the all the examination so here analysis student performance on a specific assignment and exam now what is in an indirect assessment method for PO so basically this cover the uh, survey 
and accept examination so here you can see the c option that is conducting survey which document is used to link co and po so we know program curriculum map which strategy is to effecting in improving co attainment so here uh, providing timely feedback and additional resources to the student what role does formatting assessment play in this co uh, attainment so uh, there are two x uh, there is a you know formative assessment and summative uh, assessment so basically it's help in ongoing monitoring adjustment of teaching strategy how co typically align with po so by mapping is co to the relevant po in the curriculum which type of assessment can help determine the achievement of pos so here you can see uh, determine the achievement of po so basically this is done by comprehensive exam and capstone project why is it important to review and update co and po regularly so basically to adjust teaching style based on the student preferences to reflect changes in industry standard and educational practice so the correct option is d to reflect changes in industry and standard and educational educational practices which of the following is a not a common challenge in co and po attainment so this is d option that is no relation between co and po what is purpose of a curriculum map so basically the pur main purpose of curriculum map is to visually align co with the pos and assess their achievement how can feedback from industry stakeholder be used in co and po assessment so basically uh, feedback from industry and stock uh, feedback from the in industry stakeholder can be helpful to revise and improve course content and program outcome outcomes based on the current industry needs which of the following is a direct method to assess po attainment so as we know direct uh, method cover the examination so this can be a student portfolio or project report which of the following is an example of indirect method so basically here you are talking about survey what is closing the loop process in co po assessment so basically the continuous process of using assessment data to improve course and program effectiveness how can technology add in assessing co and po assess, uh, attainment so basically tool by providing data analytics to tool to track and analyze the assessment result which of the following is a key benefit of assessing po so basically ensure alignment of educational objective with the need of the job market which approaches helps in aligning co with pos so correct option is c ensuring that each co contributes to multiple pos what role does student self assessment play in co attainment so basically it help student reflect on their learning process or and identify areas for improvement which document outline the alignment between co and po so that is curriculum map what is primary purpose of course learning objective so basically primary purpose of course learning objective is to describe what student are expected to learn and achieve by the end of course which strategy is useful for improving po attainment so definitely uh, implementing a structured feedback system for continuous improvement how should faculty use assessment data to improve co attainment so uh, by co treatment faculty can adjust their course content and teaching method what is common indi uh, indicator of successful co attainment so improved student performance on assessment related to co which type of assessment provides insight into the effectiveness of po so that is basically 
कैप्शन प्रोजेक्ट एंड कम्प्रीहेंसिव असेसमेंट हाउ ऑफन शुड सी यू एंड पी यू बी रिव्यूड एंड अपडेटेड सो बेसिकली दिस कैन बी एनुअली और एज नीडेड बेस्ड ऑन द फीडबैक एंड असेसमेंट रिजल्ट वट इज सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ ए प्रोग्राम एक्रीडेशन इन द रिलेशन टू सी यू एंड पी यू अटेनमेंट सो बेसिकली इट्स इंश्योर द प्रोग्राम्स मीट स्टेबलाइज एजुकेशनल स्टैंडर्ड एंड आउटकम विच असेसमेंट मेथड डायरेक्टली इवेल्युएट the skill and knowledge acquired by the student so here we are talking about examination that is assignment and exam what role do capstone project play in the pu attainment so they provide uh, you know they serve as a comprehensive assessment of a student ability to apply learn skill to real world problems how can industry advisory board contribute to pu assessment so here uh industry advisory board can give their feedback and relevance and effectiveness of the program outcome what is the benefit of using rubrics in co pu assessment so basically uh, rubrics they provide clear criteria for evaluating student performance and ensure consistency in the assessment which of the following is a clear uh, is a characteristics of a well defined co so basically it is specific measurable and achievable within the course which approach help in assessing the impact of cos on pos so basically reviewing uh, reviving the course and program assessment in relation to each other what is an essential component of a program assessment plan so that is clear link between co and pos and strategy for evaluating then why are the student portfolio useful in co and pu assessment so they offer a comprehensive view of student achievements and learning progress over time what is the role of continuous improvement in co and pu assessment so the role of uh, continuous improvement in co and pu assessment is to ensure that the educational objectives and outcome are regularly refine and enhance based on the assessment data which method help in aligning co with the industry standard uh, basically this is consulting is an industry professional and incorporating their feedback into the course design what is key feature of effective pu assessment so basically uh, the key feature of effective pu assessment is to involve both direct and indirect method how can faculty ensure co attainment is consistent across different section of the same course so by standardizing assessment and grading criteria across the section what role do external accreditation reviews play in co pu assessment so basically they offer an external perspective on the effectiveness and alignment of cos and pus with the educational standard which of the following is an example of direct assessment of co so here i'm talking about examination so that is analysis of student performance on a specific assignment or project what is purpose of conducting periodic program reviews so basically the main purpose of conducting periodic program reviews to assess the effectiveness of course outcome and program outcome and make necessary adjustment for the continuous improvement how can alignment between cos and pus be ensured by using curriculum management tool to clearly show the connection between cos and pus what is an outcome of effective co assessment so basically the uh, outcome of effective co assessment is enhance alignment between teaching method and learning objective which of the following is a useful approach for evaluating pu attainment so basically collecting and analyzing data from the comprehensive exam capstone project and real world problem solving task and this is uh, last question of this video what should be included in a program assessment report so in program assessment report analysis of co and pu attainment including strength weakness and reserve of improvement that should be included so thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you